Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my May favorites. And I said it in my last favorites. I'll probably always say it, but I can't believe that May is over and now it's June. I'm so excited for June. I can't wait to go to the pool in summer. Y'all know how much I love summer, but anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into my favorite products this past month of May. And I feel like I didn't really discover a whole lot of new products this past month. Pretty much from like the end of April through May, I have been so, so busy. Um, and I feel like I've barely had time to really try out anything new because it's been so crazy busy for me. So I feel like a lot of the products I'm going to show you guys today that were my favorites of May are just really quick easy to use products and they're like some of my all-time favorite products that I'm going to show you guys today. So the first two products that I did discover over the month of May that I fell in love with, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I love this foundation. It is one of my all-time favorite foundations and I did a first impression on this foundation. I think by the time this video is up, I posted the first impression about a week or so ago. So I will leave that video down in the description bar if you haven't seen my first impression on the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is a great foundation. It's more light to medium. It's a really long wearing foundation. It just looks really natural. Makes your skin almost look airbrushed. So love this foundation. So that was a big favorite this past month of May. Then another product that I discovered this past month is the Benefit Professional. And this is an amazing primer. It smells so good. It blurs out your pores. It makes your makeup last all day long. And I know a lot of people like rave and rave about this on YouTube, but this thing is seriously worth it. It's such a great primer. And if you are looking to buy a high-end one, I do recommend this. It is very, very similar to the Maybelline Baby Skin. Um, I said this in my first impression on this as well. I did a first impression on this product. I'll have it linked down below if you guys want more information on it. But I did say this in the first impression that um, I felt like they did act the same way with foundation, but they are two totally different formulas but they do act the same way on the skin. So if you do want a cheaper alternative, I do recommend the baby skin. Then the rest of the products I'm gonna be showing you guys today um, are products that have been my favorites for a while, but I figured I would go ahead and show them to you all because they are favorites of mine, and some of them I haven't talked about in a while, and I just kinda of like rediscovered how much I love these products. Um, the first thing is kind of, it's not really makeup, but it is beauty, um, is this Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Liquid Lotion Sunscreen, and it's in SPF 30. This sunscreen, I love it so much because um, not only can you use it on your face, but you can also use this on your body. And with a lot of sunscreens, I just find that when you put them on your body, like I mentioned this before in some of my other videos, but I don't tan. Um, and I don't use self tanner, so I use sunscreen religiously. So, you know, I'll put sunscreen on like today if I'm going out and I'm going to be in the sun, I will put sunscreen, you know, on my chest and on my arms, um, anywhere where my skin is exposed. So sometimes, you know, when you use regular sunscreens, like if you were to put it on your chest, it's really greasy and it ends up like making your hair really greasy and nasty looking. Um, this sunscreen does not do that. This stuff completely absorbs into your skin. It is not greasy at all. This is a good sunscreen if you want something that isn't greasy and won't clog your pores. So I do recommend this one. Um, other favorites this month, I still have been using my L'Oreal True Match Gentle Mineral Makeup a ton over the past month of May. This stuff is just so quick and easy to use. It's like one of my all-time favorite foundations. Um, I will always have this in my makeup collection and I will probably always rave about this stuff because I love it so much. I have so many different videos on it. But, and I feel like hardly anybody ever talks about this foundation here on YouTube, but it's one of my holy grail foundations and I couldn't live without this stuff. Um, but yes, I have been using this a ton over the past month of May and it's an amazing foundation. I'm wearing it today, so. 
These next products that I'm going to talk about are uh, blushes, and these are just longtime favorite blushes for me. I rediscovered my NARS Orgasm Blush. This blush is so, so pretty. If there is one high-end blush that you should get, this Orgasm Blush is it. It's such it's such a pretty like pinky coral color. It's so flattering on everybody. It has a little bit of a golden sheen in it. I'm going to try to swatch it. I feel like I've swatched this product so much over the years because I've had this thing for like two or three years now and I still haven't run out of it. Um, but I feel like from where I've swatched it so much, it's kind of you know how products get when you swatch them a lot? It's like your oils almost mix up with them and it's not so easy to swatch anymore. But that's what it looks like. It's it just is such a pretty blush. It looks really natural on your cheeks, and I highly recommend this one. Um, this used to have Laguna on this side, but I use Laguna all the way up. But that was another favorite for me this past month of May, is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And this is an amazing bronzer, especially for girls that are pale like me. Um, it doesn't make your face look muddy, and it just warms up your complexion so nice. Um, it doesn't really have any shimmer in it. It's more of just like a satin finish. And I know that probably swatched on my hand. It's probably not going to look like anything special. Um, you, It's right there. But it just is such an amazing bronzer to either bronze up your face or contour with. And I know I've heard people on YouTube say, don't use that to contour. But, I mean, it works great as a contour for me. So, I mean... I use it and I love it, so I would recommend it as a contour. Um, so yeah, these two products, big favorites for this past month of May. And then another blush that I just absolutely loved, and I rave and rave about this blush on my channel so much, but it's the Tarte Natural Beauty Blush. It's so it's such a natural blush color i know it looks super scary but once you put it on your cheeks it just gives your cheeks just a nice flush and it's just so pretty and natural so do recommend this it's another good high end blush to buy then another product that i just love and is a big favorite is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I'm sure most of you all know about this foundation. A lot of people rave about this. I just call this a foundation. This mascara. A lot of people rave about it here on YouTube. It just has a brush that is a rubber, rubber bristle brush. Um, and it doesn't look like anything special, but I'm telling you, it does special things for your lashes. This mascara gives your lashes a lot of volume, a lot of length, and it separates your lashes really well. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake. So there really isn't anything bad I can say about this mascara. And it is my one of my all-time favorite mascaras from the drugstore. This one and the Maybelline The Falsies Flared is another one of my all-time favorites from the drugstore mascara-wise. Then another product, I don't think I've ever mentioned this in a favorites before, but the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliners. Um, I have this one and I also have the one in taupe, but I've been using this one in the color nude a lot this past month of May. I've just been using it like on my waterline and it really just opens up your eyes and gives you a really bright awake look and it's a lot less harsh than white. So that's why I really like this. It lasts a really long time on your waterline as well. And it's just so creamy. Um, it seems really high end to me. But Rimmel is super affordable at the drugstore. So if you're looking for a good nude liner, I do recommend this one. My last few products that I have um, for lips lip products this past month of May. I've been loving my Maybelline Baby Lips in the color Cherry Me. It's just a beautiful cherry red, and when you put it on your lips, it gives them almost like you just ate a red popsicle look. Um, I just really like the look that it gives my lips whenever I wear it, and then sometimes I will top it with this Express Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Black Cherry Ice. And this stuff tastes so, so good, um, but it gives your lips a little bit of color, kind of like that just ate a popsicle look. <laughs> And also this Cherry Me, it smells like cherries and it smells so good. So I love both of these products for lips and I've used these a ton over the month of May. 
And then my last favorite for May is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm almost out of this paint pot. I've had this for about two or three years now and it still works really well. Um, so it is a good investment. It's one of those products that when you don't really want to wear eyeshadow, you can just put it on your eyelids and it will cancel out any veins that you have. And I do find though that it is better if you do set this with an eyeshadow because if you don't, it can crease. So I've been setting this with just like any type of neutral eyeshadow that I have. Um, and I just really like it. I mean, this past month of May, my makeup look has just been really natural and just something that's really quick and easy to do. I actually did a get ready with me um, using a lot of these products that I mentioned today. So if you would like to see that video, I will have it linked down below for you all. And I feel like I had, a, I talked a lot in this video, but I feel like, I guess I did have a lot of products, but I felt like when I got ready to film this that I wouldn't have a lot of products for you all, but apparently I did. <laughs> So I hope that you all did enjoy this favorites video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to like it. And let me know down in the comments what your favorites were this past month of May. I would love to know what your favorite products have been. And I hope that you all have, I think I already said this, but I hope that you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.